刻むでハモンのビート Welcome back to another episode of me going over every music reference in the JoJo series. With part 3, we started to see JoJo parts get much longer, and part 4 is no exception, with it being even longer than part 3. Here we also see another big change with the main stand naming convention completely shifting to music references, something that would become a mainstay for the series. As you may already know, I made a series in the past going over the series' references. However, due to copyright, they've had to be repeatedly shortened and in some cases are very hard to keep uploaded. With this new voiced format, I can remedy this, while also going much more in depth and showing off some of the lesser known things about the series, as well as the sources that confirm many of the series' references. There's a lot to go over this time, so let's finally get into the references. Our first reference is with our protagonist, Josuke Higashikata. His appearance seems to be inspired by the musician Prince. In fact, in Diamond is Unbreakable's fourth chapter, his favorite musician is actually listed as Prince in his bio. While Part 4 began publication in 1992, the story takes place in 1999. This may have been influenced by the song and album 1999 by Prince. Josuke's stand, Crazy Diamond, is named after the Pink Floyd song Shine On You Crazy Diamond. This reference, along with most of them in this part, was officially confirmed in Shueisha Jump Remix, a re release of the manga that included some special features. When necessary, I'll bring up this source again, but just know that it covers almost every stand in the part. In the English localized version, Crazy Diamond's name was changed to Shining Diamond, still referencing the song, but in different words. Angelo's name is confirmed by Jump Remix to be based on the American composer Angelo Badalamenti, best known for his work with the director David Lynch. David Lynch's TV series Twin Peaks, which Badalamenti composed for, is also likely to have influenced Part 4's premise and small town setting. Angelo's stand, Aqua Necklace's namesake, is actually unknown. The most commonly agreed upon choice for it seems to be the album Aqua from the band Asia. This choice most likely stems from Asia being a type of band that Araki would normally like, and it's made up of members from bands that Araki references frequently. Asia's album covers are also done by the artist Roger Dean, who Araki has paid homage to many times. However, this is one of the few unconfirmed stand references in the part. Some have contradicted this one by pointing out that Aqua Necklace made its debut in the manga on June 1st of 1992, about a week before the album actually released. Although other sources show that the album actually had a release prior to the one we can find on Wikipedia. And we can also see a Japanese release for March of the same year. So I think it is possible that Araki had this album, or was at least aware of the album's release beforehand, although it is pretty close. Okuyasu's stand, The Hand, is based on the Canadian American rock band, The Band. This is one of the ones I got the most pushback over in my previous series, with many claiming it was impossible for this to be a reference. Despite this, however, it is directly confirmed to be referencing the band in Jump Remix. This actually isn't the first time Araki has referenced the band. In one of Araki's old one shots from before JoJo, Say Hi to Virginia, the name can be seen on an album cover in the background. Some would still say that going from band to hand is a bit strange. But it's actually a very clever reference. If we look at both of these in Japanese, we can see that the hand is spelled almost identically with just a small part removed, much like the hand removing parts of the words on the sign in its debut appearance. Keicho's stand, Bad Company, is referencing the English rock band of the same name. Koichi is shown to have a dog named Police, likely a reference to the English rock band, The Police. Tamami's stand, The Lock, may be based on the song The Rock by The Who. However, this is another reference that Jump Remix omits, so it is unconfirmed. Koichi's stand, Echoes, is based on the song Echoes by Pink Floyd. Some people have erroneously claimed that Echoes' three acts are also a reference, and that the song Echoes was performed in three acts. However, this is not true, and I haven't been able to find anything suggesting that the song is split into three parts. The only thing close to this would be the performance of Echoes in Live at Pompeii, where it is split into two parts at the beginning and end. Where I think this idea came from is from old uploads of the song on YouTube. This is a long song, coming in at around 23 minutes, and in the earlier days of YouTube, people were limited to a maximum of 10 minutes per video. 
So here we can see the song split up into multiple parts, and with the song being 23 minutes long, that leaves just enough for three videos, possibly leading to this misconception. I think this is a common theme for this kind of misinformation, which comes from people simply searching the name of the stand and taking whatever first appears at face value, which I'll get into more in some of the later parts. Hazamata's stand is named after the R&B group Surface. Yukiko's stand is named after the album Love Deluxe by Sade. While Yukiko was holding Koichi captive, she quizzes him on the best word to describe Prince's music. In the anime, a visual of Prince was also added. Tonio's stand Pearl Jam is based on the American rock band of the same name. During this arc, Okuyasu compares the harmony between the mozzarella and tomato to a Simon and Garfunkel duet. Akira's stand Red Hot Chili Pepper is based on the American band, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Akira himself is modeled after the Japanese rock musician Kenji Otsuki, notably sharing the same iconic hair and makeup. The pins that Akira wears on his wrists read AC and DC, referencing the band ACDC. Akira also mentions that he is a fan of Jimi Hendrix, Jeff Beck, Van Halen, and Stevie Ray Vaughan. The boat which Joseph rode to Moria was named Traffic, possibly named after the English band Traffic. Shizuka's stand Aktung Baby is based on an album by U2. Rohan's stand Heaven's Door is based on the Bob Dylan song Knock It On Heaven's Door. Jump Remix specifies that it's a reference to this original version and not the popular cover by Guns N' Roses. The stand of the Rats was called Rat, with two Ts, based on the heavy metal band of the same name. The characters Raimi and Arnold are two that are sort of difficult when it comes to references. What sort of used to be the agreed-upon reference among fans, and one I went with in an old upload of my series, was the idea of the two being a reference to See Emily Play and Arnold Lane by Pink Floyd. However, there's quite a few points against this. First, neither of these references have any official confirmation. And for Part 4 in particular, it's odd that a reference for a major character would be left out when practically everything else is confirmed in Jump Remix. Now for C. Emily Play. It's another one like Arena's Eleanor Rigby reference, where the names are similar in Japanese. However, for this one it requires more rearranging to match up and isn't as readily apparent as Arena. And Arena at least did have some official confirmation. For Arnold it's a bit more simple, and the two songs are featured on the same album. Like with Danny, Arnold is kind of a weird name to just randomly give a dog, so it seems like it's referencing something. However, it could just as likely be referencing Arnold Schwarzenegger, who Araki has based characters on in the past. So since these two remain unconfirmed and are already somewhat of a stretch, I'll take the position of these not being music references. Shigechi's last name, Yangu, is confirmed as a reference to the musician Neil Young. His stand Harvest is also based on one of Young's albums. Aya's stand, Cinderella, is named after the American glam rock band, Cinderella. Yoshikage Kira's original appearance may be modeled after the musician David Bowie. His stand, Killer Queen, is based on the song of the same name by Queen. And Killer Queen's sub-ability, Sheer Heart Attack, is based on either the song or album Sheer Heart Attack by Queen. Yoshihiro Kira's stand was called Adam Heart Father, based on the Pink Floyd album Adam Heart Mother. The stand of Ken Oyanagi was Boy to Man, based on the American hip-hop group Boys to Men. On the cover of the part's 108th chapter, the group is seen doing a pose based on the cover of the album 10 by Pearl Jam. This pose was also referenced again in each of the anime's three openings. Speaking of the openings, in the third opening, Great Days, the font used is based on the one seen on the album cover of Close to the Edge by Yes. Mikitaka's ability is named Earth, Wind, and Fire, based on the American band of the same name. Yuya Fungami's stand was Highway Star, based on the song Highway Star by Deep Purple. Yuya's tie also has the words Speed King written on it, a reference to the name of another Deep Purple song. Stray Cat is based on the American band Stray Cats. Toya Hero's stand Superfly is referencing the song Superfly by Curtis Mayfield. Teranosuke's stand Enigma is based on the band of the same name. One of Enigma's songs, Modern Crusaders, actually ended up being used later as a credits theme for Part 5. In the English version, Enigma was renamed to Mysterioso, possibly a reference to the Thelonious Monk album Mysterioso. 
Masazo Kinoto's stand, Cheap Trick, is based on the American rock band, Cheap Trick. The Another One Bites the Dust story arc, as well as Kira's ability, Bites the Dust, are named after the Queen song, Another One Bites the Dust. Finally, the ending theme for Part 4's anime adaptation is the song, I Want You, by the Australian pop duo, Savage Garden. And that's all of the part's music references. While Part 4 is longer than Part 3, we can see that it actually has less references overall, due to each individual character playing a larger role. And while stands also joined the list of things with music namesakes, we also saw the character names move away from that, and for the most part their names aren't referencing anything. Out of the entire series, I'd say Part 4 is the one with my favorite references. I really enjoyed how a lot of them stuck to a theme with multiple Queen and Pink Floyd references at once. Next time, we'll be moving forward to Part 5 with yet another great group of references. If you're looking forward to that, I hope that you'll subscribe and click the bell for future videos. You can also join the Hum and Beat Discord to be notified for new uploads or important JoJo news. I'd also appreciate if you support the channel on Patreon. There you can receive Discord perks as well as the opportunity to submit questions. This video's question comes from Rex. They ask, did the music reference series inspire my taste in music? I would say definitely yes. When I first made my original series on the references, a lot of the songs I had never heard before. Since then, practically my entire personal playlist could be traced back to something I originally got into because of JoJo. And I regularly keep expanding my taste thanks to the references that continue to be added in recent years. If you want to submit a question, you can join my Patreon at any tier and submit them via my page's member post tab. I like answering these, so please submit as many as you like, and they may be featured in a future video. Thank you for watching. This is the part of the video where I thank my $5 and up patrons. Thank you to Alex Ramirez, Doorbell, Crayon, Rigovids, Zucato, Pumpkin Doge, Mero, Almighty Quarth, Kauri, Gatlin Grove, Lime Jinjo, 17 Hit Combo, Sponge Cake, Kakext, Feliciano Rabaja, Rayana Meme, Christian McDonough, Navi, Emmanuel Etienne, Pulse Dog, Great Riek, D, Dr. Zombie, Carmotrina, and Hunter Gill.